Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Coca-Cola 600, the longest race of the season for the Bass Pro Shops Cup Series. On the pole tonight, we have Jason Ashby in that 88 Chevrolet with Tim Fiegel on his outside. Henrietta Fitzwater is going to start third with Dylan Thoreau fourth. Taking over the 48 car from Julian Van Buren is Pichu London. Daniel Gilbert's on his outside in sixth place. Joey Stone starts seventh with Daniel Boyles, who takes over the 33 from... Uh, who was in Tyler Green was in the 33, but Daniel Boyles is now driving that car. Ryan Acosta is going to start ninth with Danny Wells 10th. Let's go through the rest of your lineup here real quick. Chris Washer, and we have Jacob Reed, Casey Gleason, uh, Eric Burton in the 55. The 82 is Noah Gruber. Uh, that car will take over the 38 entry that was previously driven by Aaron Cloverfield. Kent Thoreau, Cody Evans, Joshua Balkin. The 11 was taken over by uh, Cody Hagen. That's who it is. Um, he takes over the 11 from Keaton Atkinson. Then you have Jordan Newman on his outside. Matt McIntyre, Fred Singer, Roman Rejo, uh, Marco Salpietro, Kyle Singer, Joseph, uh, yeah, Joseph Lombard, Kent, the winner from Kansas, uh, John Trollston, Nick Pericles, Zach Dishman, the 98 is now driven by Annie Thomas. She takes over from for Zach Schulte. Then we have Keith Batson, Foster Brown, Zachary Lombard. Uh, why can't I think of it? Uh, Matt Corklin. There we go. Lane Brown, Nick Alton, Dylan Dom, Seth Cole. Uh... Jesus Christ, this is embarrassing. Nick Solman, Ian Dutta, Ivan Martinez, and Zach Fitzwater is shotgun on the field. Like I mentioned, the new drivers starting today. Let's go down and get the command to start engines. Alrighty, engines have fired here in Charlotte. 40 laps tonight on this 1.5 mile speedway in the heart of NASCAR country, Concord, North Carolina. A lot of teams based around this track, they all want to win and say that they got to win in their home track. It's a long way to go before they can claim what, uh, before they can stake their claim on that coveted Coke 600 trophy. Not too many storylines tonight, just staying out of trouble. It's a long race, so you're going to have to keep your car clean, stay out of any incidents on track. You will have pit stops, so you got to make sure you execute when you come down to pit road. Oh. That about sums it up. Jason Ashby's got his first pole of the season. He had a couple strong runs in Richmond and Kansas. Still looking for that first one of the season. I've made a split decision that uh, we'll end up running the rest of the like the full cup schedule. With the exception of the Martinsville races, I'll sub something in there. But that gives a lot more drivers opportunities to get wins and get into the chase. You're no longer locked in with just one win. So, will anybody be able to get their second one, or will they stake a chase claim with one? We'll find out soon. Green flags in the air at Charlotte. Jason Ashby's getting us underway. He gets a nice jump. Ten Fiegel's going to be able to get down to the inside, maybe. He should be able to. Henrietta's right there. She wants to be able to get in right behind him. Don't know if that'll happen right away. As the cars rocket down the back stretch off of turn two. Jason Ashby's got a pretty strong lead, but Tim Fiegel's right in behind him. Pichu London's having a good run in his first race in the Bass Pro Shops Cup Series. Nice start, anyways. Racing is a whole different story. His teammate's right behind him, though. Joey Stone. Right on his back bumper, trying to push him past the one of Dylan Thoreau. The outside lane does carry quite a bit of momentum here, so... One, if you're just trying to stick your nose to the inside of a guy, it is really hard to pass him. Looks like Peachy London will get past Dylan Thoreau. Daniel Gilbert looking on behind him. Chris Washer to the inside of Ryan Acosta. 
that's for the eighth position. I'm gonna need a different camera. Daniel Voyles also having a nice run so far in his first race of the uh, his first start. Danny Wells looking strong so far too. He had a couple really bad weeks getting taken out in crashes, dropped in quite a few positions and points. He's looking to rebound from that. Uh, not speaking of points. I even looked this up before I started so I could talk about it, and I forget. I want to say it's uh, I want to say Zach Fitzwater is your points leader, but he is all the way in the back, so uh, he's got quite a bit of ground to make up here if he wants to keep his points lead. Kind of tired. Daniel Boyle's looking to the inside of Ryan Acosta, maybe. Ryan shuts the door on him. They're double wide behind Casey Gleason there. That's for the 12th position with Danny Wells to the inside of Jacob Reed. Almost three wide there. Joshua Balkin, maybe. Oh, he is going to go to the inside of Ken Thoreau. Careful, guys. Oh, gosh. He backed off. That would have been bad if he'd have taken out his teammate here on, just on lap six. Noah Gruber hanging tough in that outside lane. He just like a top 20. He's, comes over here from Formula One. Uh, not much of a NASCAR guy, but Red Bull Racing put him in their car. So he's just trying to get all he can this first race and learn, uh, learn the ins and outs of NASCAR. So you can maybe be a contender. Oh, we had a caution out. Looks like it was some guys in the back. Oh, Joseph Lombard, last week's winner. Seth Cole, Richmond winner, and the Texas winner of Kyle Singer, all involved in a crash here early in this one. John Trollston, Zach Dishman, and Foster Brown also involved. So big crash here. We're going to have pit stops here. Jason Ashby's going to lead them in. But a big crash here on lap eight, lap seven, I guess, to start this one off. It's like they're all coming to pit road. It should be a busy place here. We'll just look on with these pit stops here, see who wins the race off of pit road. Jason Ashby, Tim Fiegel, all taking two tires. Pichu London and Joey Stone, looks like they took two as well. But Jason comes in first and he goes out first. Tim Fiegel second. Pichu London third, Joey Stone fourth, and Daniel Gilbert fifth. So let's go back and take a look and see what happened to bring out the caution. Here on lap seven, uh, Joseph Lombard, Kyle Singer, and John Trollston, they're, uh, those two are already double wide. And uh, Kyle got into Joseph. Looked like he was going to come down and block John Trollston, but John was already there. They just go up and collect. Uh, oh, Foster Brown, nowhere to go. Same thing with Seth Cole. Just absolutely nowhere to go for some of these guys. Let's take another look here. From above. Some of these guys just barely made it out. Yeah, looks like the Kyle Singer just didn't think he was, uh, thought he was clear, and he wasn't. Foster Brown and Seth Cole. Oh, Zach Fitzwater got a little bit of damage there too. But they just had absolutely nowhere to go. So with that, let's get back to your restart. Lap 11 here. Jason Ashby is your leader. Then it's Tim Fiegel, Pichu London in his first race.
Joey Stone, Daniel Gilbert, Chris Washer, Casey Gleason, Henrietta Fitzwater, Ryan Acosta, Eric Burton, Joshua Balkin, <clears throat> Matt McIntyre. Then we have uh, Jacob Reed. Uh, Jacob Reed. Oh, what happened to Dylan Thoreau? He was, I wonder if he's got the pit glitch. I guess Dylan throws a lap down. He must wonder if he maybe got some damage or had a mechanical issue. Uh, anyways, then it's uh, Fred Singer, Cody Evans, Keith Batson. Yep. Jesus, what am I doing? Uh, Keith Batson, uh, Zach Lombard, Danny Wells, Roman Rahal, Lane Brown, Dylan Dom, Ian Dutta, uh, Nick Pericles. Marco Salpietro, Ivan Martinez, jo Jordan Newman, um, Jesus Christ, Daniel Voiles, Noah Gruber, Matt, Matt, uh, Matt Corklin, Nick Alton, and the rest of your field. Pace cars in. Jason Ashby is going to get us back underway here. We're going to have to watch out for the one car. Or he might be in the way. The green flag's back in the air. Tim Fiegel's hot on Jason Ashby's tail. Looks like they should be able to get around the one car, maybe. Oh, careful, Ma uh, careful, Pichu. I, I want to call him Machu Pichu. I don't know why. But he's going to be able to get down to the inside. It's going to be a Hendrick 1, 2, 3 at the front here. Oh, careful. These guys are on the apron. Oh, they're coming back to pits for some reason. That's weird. I don't know why they would do that, but... These guys all coming back to pit road for some reason. It's going to put Daniel Gilbert out front with Casey Gleason and Eric Burton fighting for second. And we got another crash. That's a lot of cars. Ray Hall's got some damage. Annie Thomas. Looks like Pericles there had some damage. Lombard's in it again. Nick Soman. Jordan Newman. Ken Thoreau. Ian Dutta. Now this is going to be really interesting with these guys that we just had pit. Because... Oh, are they going to be on the lead lap? Uh, they might be. Oh god, they're going to freaking take out... Yeah, they're going to fucking crash into people on their way up through the field here. Oh, they have... Gilbert to pit road. Oh, my God. This is a mess. Well, let's see what happened to start this whole sh jumble, whatever this is. Let's see what happened. Yeah, this one starts just about how the last wreck started. Uh, Roman Ray Hall comes in behind Zach Lombard. And he's right on his bumper, and it looks like Zach just cuts down on him. And they almost had it saved. And then they come back up on the track into Dylan Dom. And there goes the field. Ivan Martinez, Ian Dutta, pounds the wall. Jordan Newman. Cody Hagen looks like he got through. Nick Soman. I don't know that he got very much damage. Let's, uh, let's take one more look at this. Let's uh let's go let's go on board with uh with Sal Pietro. See if he was able to make it through. I, I think he was. I didn't See it happening right in front of him, and he just barely gets through. And your oils, these guys are all, they're all fine, for the majority. But for some of them, their hopes of winning the Coke 600 are done. So with that, let's get back to your restart. We're back here, still not even to halfway. Jason Ashby is on the tail end of the lead lap. Dylan Thoreau, one lap down. Casey Gleason's your leader with Eric Burton, second. Ryan Acosta, third. Matt McIntyre, fourth. And Joshua Balkin, fifth. Uh, the cars that pitted under that, just right after that last caution, they are on the lead lap. They're just at the tail end. 
but it'll be interesting to see if they have to pit again later in this race. But green flags back in the air. Casey Gleason finally leads for the first time in the season. He's out front with Eric Burton right behind him. Jason Ashby does a good job of getting away. He will, he'll want another caution here to be able to get himself back on the lead lap at the tail end anyways with the rest of the cars that he's racing. Right now he's just fighting to stay alive. Eric Burton looking under Casey Gleason here for the lead. Gleason will lead it to the line, but Burton still going to chase him. Matt McIntyre also having a strong run. And we're three wide back here. Oh, gosh, that was close. Cody Evans almost got turned off the bumper of Ryan Acosta. They're still four wide. Danny Wells going to capitalize. He'll try and move up into the top ten. He's up to ninth right now. Sort of settling down here. Just back to double file. I wonder if those guys don't have pit glitch. Joey Stone does, I think. Unless he's got some other issue. But he's back in pit road once again for repairs, it looks like. Jason Ashby holding his own out front. Looks like Gleason's going to get by uh, Thoreau. Eric Burton trying everything he can to get around him on the high side, though. Gleason looks like he's fighting a little loose right now, and Burton's going to be able to try and push the row past and follow him through to get the lead. This side-by-side -side is letting Matt McIntyre and Joshua Balkan catch up, though. You got a four-car battle for the lead right now here on lap 22. We're still only just past halfway. A lot of racing left to go in this one. These two are fighting for, uh, at least Eric Burton was. Uh, he's fighting for a win at Bristol and had that stolen from him at the last moment. So he's definitely looking for a little bit of redemption. He wants to find victory lane for the first time this season. Jacob Reed continues his strong little stretch he's had here. Put together a nice few top ten finishes. I think three out of the last four races have ended in the top ten for him. Danny Wells looking for some redemption too. Had a couple just dismal races. Kansas and Talladega wrecked out in both. So top five, top ten for sure would be good. Uh, a good race for him. Really, he just wants to finish a race. Fred Singer also looking for a good run today. Running strong so far. Cody Evans in eighth. Lane Brown, haven't seen much of him since he won at Bristol. But here he is up in the top ten. And then Keith Batson, haven't talked about him much since his win at Phoenix. But he's back up in the top ten too. After almost getting wrecked out, Zach Lombard's running 12th right now. Going to be 11th when we come back around. Sal Pietro and Daniel Boyles also having strong runs today. Machu Picchu. Picchu London there. Fell back a little bit since he had that pit issue, but he's starting to make his way back up through the field. Noah Gruber's still stuck on that outside lane. He and Ryan Acosta are slipping back a little bit. But Acosta looks like... He might have a, he might have scraped a wall at some point. Unless, uh, no, I think Henrietta got into him under caution. But uh, either way, I think he has a little bit of damage on his right side. Cody Hagen, top 20 showing here for his first race. Seth Cole, nice comeback so far for having that little bit of fender damage in that earlier wreck. Lombard as well. Dylan Dom took quite a beating. I'm actually still surprised he's in the race. Same with Jordan Newman. I figured they'd be done. Kent Rowe, Nick Pericles, Zach Fitzwater all too much damage. Henrietta looks like she's got quite a bit of damage too. Daniel Gilbert as well. Unless he pitted, I think, maybe. Don't know... I don't know what happened to the 24. I can't find him anymore. Yeah, he's. Uh, I think he's got pick glitch. So that'll that'll hurt him in points. Casey Gleason is still showing the way though. Jason Ashby desperately wants a caution to be able to get back on the lead lap. He led a lot of this early race, a lot of the race, 
in the early going, but uh, he's going to need a caution if he wants to get back in this one. A couple of Toyotas, second and third still. Matt McIntyre's falling to fourth. Not too many. Here's a battle, I guess. Sal Pietro going to the inside of Zach Lombard there. That's going to be for the 12th position. Zach's holding strong on the outside line, though. He's got Tim Fiegel right in behind him. A couple of RCR teammates there on the inside, though, trying to help each other out. Noah Gruber just holding strong inside the top 20 right now. Chris Washer also pitted with, uh, with the 24 and the 88 earlier. Hasn't really been able to come back as well as we thought he was going to be able to, but that's fine. Matt Corklin in the 27. That's why I couldn't figure it out. He's got that sleek and sexy winter camo bass pro shop scheme that uh that I didn't recognize. And so I was looking for the Menard scar, but it's not in this race. He's uh just inside the top 20, running 18th right now. Little Annie, she's doing pretty well too. 19th at the moment. And Cody Hagen, 20th in his debut. These guys all have damage back here, I believe. Yeah. So for the most part, these guys are all damaged. I don't think... Uh, I don't think Daniel Gilbert has damage. I think he just, uh, he's currently one lap down. I think he just pitted or something. But same with Henrietta. I don't know if she's got damage. Yeah, she's damaged, but she's on the lead lap. Casey Gleason, but Eric Burton has caught him. Burton's going to be looking to the inside here, trying to make a move for the lead here. With just seven laps to go, seven and a half really. Burton's right on his right on his heels though. I don't think either of these guys are too high in points. I know Casey is, and he's down in the 30s. But I don't. Eric Burton's probably top 20, I suppose. I don't think he's much higher than that. Will these guys have to pit again? though? that's the question. They might have to. I'm, I really don't know. I know we pitted fairly early on in this race, so it might be a stretch to go another. Uh, I take that back though, because in the in the practice race that I ran, they were uh, they were out of gas with 33 to go. So they it'll be really close if these guys can make it all the way on fuel. But Casey Gleason's holding off Eric Burton for now. Eric's just stalking him, trying to find the right place to make his move. Joshua looking on. He wants to capitalize if these two get side by side. I think the thing that's really helping Casey is the fact that Dylan Thoreau is uh, is that one is that lap down car right in front of him. He's able to tow, get a draft off of him, and he's using that to stay in front of Eric. Burton's got to run run here maybe looks like he might try something not this time coming to just four laps to go jacob reed in fourth mcintyre fifth danny wells sixth lane seventh pichu london looking for a top 10 in his debut trying to get around the 12 car of keith batson tim fiegel noah gruber also having strong runs Back to the battle out front. Eric Burton looks like he's falling off a little bit. Casey Gleason holding strong out front. Joshua Balkan to the inside of his teammate here. Just three laps to go. Looks like Eric's going to come up short again. He might have a couple more shots, but at this point it looks like Eric's going to come up short again, just like he did in Bristol. Watch that 99 car. He's slowly creeping into the picture here. I think these guys are getting pretty spread out there. There's two laps to go. Casey Gleason, just a horrible season. Been taken out in any race you can name. 
taken out in Kansas, running 15th last week. He's crashed by Sal Pietro and Talladega. He got lucky. Had a few. Had, there were pit misfortunes by the fastest cars of the day, 88 and the 24. He didn't start that well. Started uh, just barely inside the top 10. But Casey Gleason looking to change his season. He's just got one more lap to go. He's going to get around the one car at the row. If he can clear him, hopefully. Oh, but that's going to slow him up. Eric Burton's going to get a run here. Eric Burton's to the Eric Burton's right to his back bumper, but that's going to allow Joshua Balkan to get to the inside of Burton. Dylan Thoreau's holding Gleason up. But Eric Burton can't get there. And off of turn four, Casey Gleason's going to get his first win of the season. He wins the Coke 600 at Charlotte Motor Speedway. That's certainly been a long time coming for Casey. Definitely what he needed to turn his season around. He'll get that win that he needed to put himself in chase contention. Eric Burton's going to come home second again. Wow, oh, I had the fastest lap. So Washer ended up with the fastest lap. But Casey Gleason comes home a winner today with Eric Burton second. Joshua Balkin third. Jacob Reed's going to come home fourth with Matt McIntyre fifth. Let's take a look at your finishing results. Top five, like I mentioned, Danny Wells rebounds nicely from two finishes outside the top 40. He comes home sixth. Fred Singer seventh. Cody Evans eighth. Lane Brown ninth. Pichu London gets a nice debut. He comes home with a top 10. Tim Fiegel 11th. Noah Gruber comes home 12th. Keith Batson 13th. Chris Washer 14th. Sal Pietro 15th. Daniel Boyles also a nice starting run for his debut. He comes home 16th. Zach Lombard, after almost getting taken out, nice rebound. He comes home 17th. Matt Corklin 18th. Annie Thomas 19th. And Cody Hagen 20th. So all four new drivers, or all five new drivers rather, all come out of here with a top 20 finish. Uh, let's take a look at the rest of your rundown here. Uh, Lombard, Ivan Martinez, Ryan Acosta, Dylan Dom, Nick Alton, Nick Pericles, Zach Fitzwater, Henrietta Fitzwater, Jason Ashby, and Dylan Thoreau just on the tail end of the lead lap. Daniel Gilbert, Seth, Ho ah, Seth Cole, Kent Thoreau, Nick Soman, Jordan Newman, Joey Stone had the pit glitch, ends up 21 laps down. Roland Rejo, then Ian Dutta, Kyle Singer, John Trollston, Zach Dishman, and Foster Brown comes home dead last. Once again, congratulations to Casey Gleason on his first win of the season. Uh, will he be able to use that and b rebound from his, I don't know, he's like 39th in points or something, but will he be able to use this to mount a charge towards the chase? Only time will tell. Thank you all for watching. This is all from Charlotte Motor Speedway. Have a good night, everybody. Oh, I better export. That'd be really bad again. Jesus, why am I so bad at that? There it is. I couldn't find it. I was freaking out. I was like, am I going to have to... Frickin' do this all over again. All right, there we go. Uh, signing off again. This is uh, this is your homie Holmes Jackson. Uh, wow, that was okay. Ignore that. Have a good night, everybody.